guys. I've got some bull minnows left over from last week, if I can catch one again here. And these guys live forever. I've got these guys on the aerator over the weekend, so they've been in here for 72 hours, and they are still super lively. And we are going to put these out on a Carolina rig this morning and see if we can find any flounder, maybe some slot reds hanging around here at the Lagoon Pass. No clue if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to work this just down the edge of the seawall now. We'll just drop it right here. Man, I was not expecting this much grass right here. The grass hasn't been bad the past couple days, but fast is full of grass. I'm getting hits. I wonder if we've got some small mangroves or something hanging out right there. I don't know if you can see where those fish have chomped midway up on that bull minnow. But it's dead now. Bull minnows don't like to be chomped on like that. Let's get a live one. Try it a little bit longer, then I'll probably try to find somewhere else to fish. I swear, every time I buy bull minnows, it's just a terrible day of fishing. I don't hardly catch anything on them. Hopefully that'll change today. And bull minnows are very good bait, trust me. It's just that I had terrible timing with them. Every time I use them, it just happens to be a, a crappy day out here. So I really think there ought to be a flounder hanging around this at some point. I mean, it looks good to me. There we go. Get, oh my gosh, something's grabbing it and running with it, but just, yeah, they're just gonna end up killing them. I bet it's small mangroves. I've had a lot of little mangroves bite these, bite them in half, pull on them like that. All right, that is probably the smallest bull minnow I have. Oh, something got him and ran with it. Something got it and ran with it. Hey, did we get hooked up? There we go. They are little bitty mangroves. That's what I thought. I guarantee you, they're all little bitty guys like this. I don't have my pliers on me. Go over to the cart. I might come back up inside the pass channel a little bit more. I'm gonna be dealing with a ton of these little mangroves right here around the mouth of it. Pretty little guy. Get you sent back. All right, now, I've already used about half my bait for the day. I only had about a dozen of these bull minnows left over. There we go. Another little mangrove. Gosh dang. Hopefully he didn't kill my minnow and I can use him again. That's what I want. Alright, get you tossed back. Oh my gosh. That was an insanely terrible cast. I threw that up on, up on top. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. That mangrove wanted that, didn't he? Look at them. Them hungry little mangroves all over the place right here. There we go. Oh, get off that pylon. Get off that pylon. Get off that pylon. We, oh, uh, he's gonna be just a little short. <laughs> but I was gonna say, we might have found a keeper, but ain't no way. He's gonna be just a hair short. That guy smoked that too, but I bet he's 10. Gotta be 12. That's why they call them snappers. Look at that, chomping. Yep, about 10 and three quarters. Easy, bro. All right, this guy's about 10 and 3 quarter inch long. Just not quite big enough for a keeper, but still a fun, fun fish to catch, man. They're super aggressive. When they start to get around this 10, 11, 12 inch size, they're really fun to catch. They really put up a good fight. And if you get anything bigger than that, it's awesome. But we gotta get this guy back real quick. Okay. Go back over to this little corner here. It's funny how I started off going for flounder and now it's just been a mangrove fest. It's okay. tap there I just wish this rod would get hit well, right, right there this is us and I wish it would just get heavy but that's not a that's definitely not a flounder flounder don't repeatedly tap on it like that I just want that heavy feeling just all of a sudden just like a 
a weight, big heavy weight got on there. Something's hitting. Hit pretty soft. Be a flounder, be a flounder, be a flounder, be a flounder, be a flounder. Be the flounder we're after. Nope, another mangrove. Oh man, that guy was fighting hard. He gonna be short. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> this guy's gonna be close. This mangrove is gonna be real close. Oh man. I would just be ecstatic to catch keeper mangrove here. Cause I never have. The only keeper mangrove I've caught, I've caught like one off the seawall in Orange Beach. And then a couple off the pier. But I have hardly caught any keeper mangrove, period. I mean, maybe five. Just I've never really targeted them. Every time I have, it just seems like I never catch them. But I've caught several this year. Oh, oh still. Oh, he's a half inch short. Oh, dang it. So close. 11 and a half. All right, we'll get you back. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna try this for a couple more minutes. And there's one other place I wanna try over here. See what happens. All right, let's go try that other place real quick. I can catch the undersized mangrove anywhere. I swear. <laughs> Keep me on my toes. Give me a little bit of hope. Another little mangrove. I got on there. Get out from under there. <sighs> well, at least you're keeping me entertained. Good night. Pinfish are even hitting the bull minnows. Get on there. Get on there. I'd like to just get one of these mangroves to be a keeper. Yeah, me too. I never ate one. They're good. I like them. Let me guess. Another little mangrove. Alright. Go back. Alright, not a terrible day fishing, not a great day fishing. Bunch of undersized mangroves. Not really going to complain about that. Would have liked to found a couple keepers, but it is what it is. And that's the first time I've actually fished the pier in the lagoon. So, I mean, it wasn't bad. That guy caught that nice trout while I was out there. So there's some decent fish to be caught. Probably give her another shot here in a few days, maybe. Depends on what the weather does, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. So until next time, I'll see you later.